It is another windy day here in o Northeast Oklahoma, and I got some exciting news. I got the fence again for um, extending this goat pen out. Oh, before I do that, I want to show you something. There's Chester getting a rotten egg, probably. There's Maggie. I've got them. I, I haven't had the ducks back over here on this side. The ducks are safe. They're over here with the bucks. There's five of them, and that's what I left you with on the last video. Remember, I had a, uh, a predator get two of them. I caught a possum, got rid of the possum. I've had them over here with the bucks ever since, and I haven't had a problem. But for today, I've put Maggie and Chester over here so that they can play, and it's going to be right here where I can keep an eye on them because I am going to be just right over here trying to work on getting this goat pen extended. This may take me a few days, but let me show you what I got. So, got the, the panels out here. Um, I believe I have enough to do the goat pen plus maybe extend the boys pen out a little bit. And I think what I'm gonna do is bring this out a little bit. Uh, remove the, the fence that, that divides the two pens right there by the shop and let the ducks and the, and the two bucks have all of that area to themselves. I don't like the water situation. Um, I did put cattle panel over the top of the waters and they did still get muddy not as bad because the birds aren't actually getting inside of it but they like they collect dirt and mud and stuff in their mouths and then they get a drink and it makes the water all nasty so um you guys have put in the comments to put like a cattle panel on top of it and i did that i don't know how the other channels are keeping them clean other than maybe staying home and refreshing the water every 10 or 15 minutes i don't know but i have to work off the property and i can't do that so i'm gonna think about what to do there if you guys have suggestions go ahead and leave them in the comments below how to keep the goat's water clean when you're running ducks with them so um and maybe i'll show you i just laid a cattle panel on top maybe i'm doing it wrong and you can advise me there but i've got the t-posts here i've got the panels and so um, that's what i'm going to work on today like i said i probably won't get it done but maggie and chester will get their play time while i'm working on it because i'm just right here and they are right there so they're gonna have fun so before i got started i was gonna bring you over here and show you how i got the water set up and then the ducks are right there playing in the water because i just filled up all the waters and gave maggie and chester some water but i did find a black cayuga duck today <laughs> they're all black i did find a black cayuga duck egg this morning and i'll put a picture up there so you can see it because i did take a picture of it and send it to a few people but so this is how i have the the i just have the cattle panel and i just moved it and put it back i emptied that cleaned it out this one wasn't too bad but it's still it's still dirty and this you know of course they they're not getting in and swimming in that and but see this is dirty I, I cleaned this out just now and filled it up they have not been in it swimming they all came over with their mud in their mouth or dirt in their mouth and made it muddy like that so um i don't know how to do this but that there's cattle panel sitting on top of it and and a lot of you said put the cattle that other youtubers are putting the cattle paddle on it so that they can't actually get in and swim in it this is true it does keep them from pooping in it but it's still getting really muddy i need my goats to have clean water goats are kind of funny um goats are a little bit more picky than maybe a cow or something like that so Leave suggestions in the comment section below and let me know um, what I'm doing wrong, what, what could be done differently, or maybe some ideas other than the cattle panel. But this, uh, I had this set up originally to wean, wean the baby goats, and I had the bucks here. And so then I put the ducks over here and that predator came. I'm going to take this fence down and give them all of this, plus try to extend it out a little bit and... Uh, just leave that for the ducks and bucks. So I do need to find a way to keep the water clean if that's what I'm going to do. All right. I thought I would go ahead and stop and show you where I am on the fencing. This is just setting up there. So I've got it coming around here. I have belling twine to hold the fence up because it's, it's curved, right? And I need something to hold it. It's not like attached securely or permanently. And I'm going to wait on where I put this T-post because I want to make sure that it lines up with what's going on over here. So let's look at, look at this. All right, on this, I laid the 
cattle panels out here where I wanted them and then started putting the T-post in. Um, <laughs> but I don't know why I plan on putting this T-post, I mean cattle panel on the back of this, stapling it to that and um, going down that way. As you can see, I have a couple of T-posts that are offline. Uh, actually, one of them is just leaning back a little bit. I need to bring it forward. The other one is actually, is actually offline, and I'm trying to decide whether to pull it and move it back this way or just add one over here and use it on the back fence. Anyway, so I, I use these to uh, know where to put my T-posts, but I didn't think about I want them to be on the inside so when the goats push up against it, it's uh, supported by the T-post. So I'm thinking about stapling it, uh, you know, those those nails, the staples. I don't know which staples. I don't know. Anyway, stapling it, nailing it to, the, to that post there on the outside, and then bringing it in the inside of these T-posts. Bringing the cattle panels in on the inside of the T-post and just keeping it like that. I think that will work. I'm not sure. But that's what I need to do is set that up. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. <clears throat> and that way I'll know where to put my T-post over there to line up with this. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't. Not to anyone but me. See, this, this is offline. This is where I thought the line would be. And then when I laid these out here, I don't know. Okay, I've got them tied up there just so that they'll stay up so I can see what I'm doing and I've come down at this end to show you what I've got over here I've got this cattle panel out because right in here somewhere will be the corner I'm just having a hard time uh, measuring making straight lines and especially figuring out what to do with right here I've got a t-post laying here that I'm going to use over here but I want to bring this line down so that I'll know exactly where I need that T-post. If I need it out further this way or back that way. So that this uh, so that this one cattle panel will fit just right. Obviously I'm not going to have you guys watch me do all of this. Uh, because it would be boring. 
It's, 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 it's very boring. It uh, takes me a long time to put one T-post in. Although, over there, that ground was pretty easy to put a T-post in. It is still hard for me. I am not in shape. It's hot. I've not done this all my life. I've done this never, you know, prior to moving out on some property a few years ago. And then before this summer, I had Greg with me to help me, and he did do most of the T-post. Or... Yeah, pretty much most of the T-post. I, I almost said all of them, but he didn't do all of it. Uh, he did most of the T-post. I'm not going to make you watch it, but I will uh, show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And I'll obviously show you the end product because I'm going to release the goats in here. I have to go to work tomorrow, so I don't know how much I will get done tomorrow, if anything. Um, but I am going to maybe do a little bit more tonight. I still have to feed the animals. I still have to eat. I still have to relax before I go to work the next day so um, we'll just see how much I get done. So it is another day. I've been out here setting T-post or driving T-post or I got T-post here and um, are they straight? Well, the straight answer is uh, sort of. They're sort of straight. They look all right to me. They're not just real straight. Um, but I never claimed to be a fence builder. So there is that. There is one T-post, this one right here, that is taller than the other. That is not uh, because, like over there, that one looks taller, but that's because the land kind of, you know, does this a little bit. But this right here is not all the way in the ground. I can't get it in the ground. There's a rock there or something. I, you know, had it, I think, I had it over this way just a little bit and moved it over there trying to get away from the rock. Um, and it goes so far and then it stops and so I I am done I am done with that what I'm about to do is set these up I'm gonna just lean them up there against the t-post and tie them tie them with uh, that hay twine and then look at everything and, and make sure it's like I want it before I try to fasten it with a little bit more permanent um, fastener like I don't know, zip ties or something. No, I, I don't know how I'll, I'll fasten them yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. So, but that's what I'm gonna do is set them up like I did these over here and let's see what it looks like.
Okay, today is day three of the fence, and actually, I'm pretty much done. Um, I didn't release the goats last night because it got dark and started raining, and um, I wanted to show it on camera. I wanted to show the finished product on this video, so I'm about to release the goats and show it to you, but real quickly, I wanted to remind you to um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and uh, let's go release the goats okay I put Maggie there because if I bring her in here it will be total chaos Tucker spent the night out here remember I wasn't letting him spend the night out here because they can get through this fence over here well now that I had that up now that I got that up, I, I let him stay out here last night. He was a good boy. See, she just crawled back through. These two are always out over there. But um, I'm about to cut this fence and, and let them out. Okay, so I just opened this up. Let's, they don't even know. Nobody's, you coming through? Come on. Hi, Maggie. Come on. Good boy. Come on, River. Come on, River. Rain. River. No. Why would you go back there? Why would you do that? Come on out. River. Come on. Come on, Riv. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. We got three goats. Maggie, we're halfway there. All right, I had to go into the shop to get away from the wind. It is really windy today, and I know you can't hear me with all of the wind, or it's a distraction. So I am going to run into town and get some more of those metal zip ties, and I need to figure out what to do where I put the panels together, like in the corners and stuff, and um, it might be zip ties as well. I don't know yet. And then I've also got to take that fence down. Um, I may get the fence down uh, today, but uh, I don't know how long it'll take me to get those T-posts up because there's really, like, I'll probably leave them there until I need them because, I mean, I don't have to store them anywhere. They're, they're already stored. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Please leave me a comment below. Like, subscribe, and share this video out with your friends. Thank you.